What is up guys, Emu's here, once again, bringing guys Batman the Telltale series, finally, episode 3, finally drop, uh, um, this is actually the day after, this is Wednesday, uh, October 26th, is it the 26th? Yeah, it's the 26th, it, this came out yesterday, but for the Xbox Marketplace, it kept saying that you need to buy this DLC which for me I have the season pass and I was reading stuff about episode 3 and a lot of people were experiencing this issue so it took me a while to fix eventually they did fix it like around like 8 7 8 p.m. my time and for me that was too late to record since I have people in the house so um, I had to wait and then here we are episode 3 dropped and that's what we're gonna do and before we get started, I just got back from class, and I'm st completely starving. Um, so, I have a bowl of cereal with me, so if you guys hear like a spoon, or a crunchy noise, or anything, I'm gonna try my best to cut that out the video, like, for example, I'm gonna be eating during cutscenes, and stuff like that, so if you, like, I'm gonna try and cut out if there's any, like, noise with that regard, but if there, if there's noises here and there, for the first episode, I'll be done with the cereal by, by within the first episode, so, um, yeah, just know that I'm eating cereal, because I'm absolutely fucking starving, but anyways, let's do this, episode 3, I, this is, I'm so excited, so, in the last episode, actually, I wasn't saying the last episode, but they're gonna do a recap anyway, so let's get started, enough talking, now let's do this. Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. They're waiting for you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father felt Kone and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? Are we alone? Let's get out of here. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Mayor Dent. You know, I always assumed Harvey would win, but not like this. Won by default. He's probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and square. Hey, 
Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just... I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Harvey's your best friend. I'm... nothing to you. I just don't get it. I did it be... because I care about you. Well, maybe you shouldn't. I don't think I can do this. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. I'm sorry. Just go in without me. Harvey needs you right now. Do it for him. I'm sorry, Bruce. I wish I could. You can. It's my fault he's in there. I don't have anything to say to him that would make this better. Please, Bruce. Don't tell him I was here. I don't think he'd understand. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. Um, I'm so sorry, Harvey. Harvey, I am so sorry this happened. Hey, come on. It's not your fault. It was. Well, I'm sorry anyway. I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. Could be fine. You know what, Harvey? You're beautiful on the inside, man. It's... It's what's on the inside that counts, right? You'll always be beautiful to me, Harv. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, that's what they tell the girl who doesn't get asked to prom. Yeah, easy. I appreciate the effort, though. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her. You know, the way I look now. you hear from her heart. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. <sighs> I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching at what a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Okay. Don't Every torture yourself hard. It wasn't fights. your fault, man. Don't do this to yourself. There's nothing you can do to change what happened. Replaying that moment will only drive you crazy. Yeah, I know that. But here I am. Trust me. You need to stop. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I'm gonna invent, because I think that's the perfect thing to do. Yeah, I can... I can still hear him laughing. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. He needs to get it off his chest. Up there. The Penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stuff. Uh, Harvey, you need to be careful, step. man. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Wait, wait, wait tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. At the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. <sighs> Not that they're too happy about it. All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy, but how can I? Stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. Oh, don't overexert yourself. You Mr. need to Dent. listen to them, Harvey. You should probably listen to the doctors. They know what they're talking about. Yeah, well, I've been a very good invalid, Bruce. Don't worry. I can't afford to take it easy right now. Look at your face, man. You do the same in my position, which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I... 
know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, Hill admitting to having both of them killed, it's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving, it doesn't mean you no, want to. My father, my well, I'm not even convinced that tape was real. It had to be fake. Doctored to look like something else. I hope you're right. It will take a lot to prove that to the public. Look, I, uh, I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did what you had to, thanks. You did what you had to, Harvey. You don't have to explain yourself to me, Harvey. It was the right call for the campaign. I get that. Still, I abandoned you when you needed me. And I did the same. Me. That's not the kind of friend I want to be. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. Yeah, I see. And look, I, I should get going, Hart. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another I'm hour. I'm sorry, Hart, I need to be somewhere you can, else. You can stay if you want. I have a call to make. I'm sorry, Harvey. I can't wait. You know, I think rich people are always on the phone. <laughs> it's a curse. Well, go on then. Wouldn't want you to keep them waiting. You, uh, you rest up, Harv. Thanks, Bruce. Oh, this is going to be an interesting episode, I can already tell you, so excited, the last two episodes have been absolutely fantastic. Unit 6 in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, alright? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Oh, huh? here I am. Well, it worked. I'm here. I appreciate it. Things are a mess. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Renee Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. She's a good cop. One of my best. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. And that debate. <laughs> Ask Cobblepot. Oh, tearing up the entire city. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with. Shit. Right Who do I choose? We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? You wanted help? 
a friend who can help us. That friend got a name? All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to five hundred. Is this the same voice actor from Mark Knight? Cases. You'll even be able to hear through walls, like X-ray hearing. Nice work. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. He sounds like Lucius Fox from Arkham Knight, and if it's the same voice actor, that's fucking incredible. Because he's a great voice actor for Lucius Fox. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. I was listening to Harvey. Please, just leave it. It's not gonna get any better. But, but you're bleeding. Then let Gotham see it. Is that? No, I told you it's fine. That car's been behind us since the hospital. Uh oh. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Oh, what the? Oh, damn it! Barrels of this stuff to transfer. Not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's got to be done. You want to argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move. This is the police. Dinner. Shit. Oh fuck. I'm sorry. I'm headed over to Dent. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. Be careful, Jim. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. <laughs> Typical. Episode 3, we're gonna agree with the pilot. New Ward Order. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. on his way. Relax. Be ready for him. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Yeah, too late, Dent. Holy shit, I just crashed the car. Get away from him. You think I'm scared of you? You should be scared. You should be. Tell me where your leader is. What are you planning? That all depends on you, Batman. Don't make me hurt you. Start talking, and I'll hand you over to the police in one, in one piece. piece. Fucking badass. There's nothing the cops can do that we won't know about, including every time Gordon uses you as his errand boy. Everyone all right? Get the hell away from us. I'm the mayor now, and things are going to change around here. Starting with people like you. This city is a battleground. And Gotham does not need you taking matters into your own hands. You make these freaks think it's okay. You'd be a good I know you'll be a good mayor for Gotham. Yeah, well, no thanks to you. You left me for dead once before. You showed me where you stood back at the debate. Hey, hey, come, come, come on, let's go. I'll call us a cab. This is my city now, not yours. Heads up, they got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. I don't have time to argue with you, Dan.